वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई बी ट्राइंग आउट कोस्ट ऑफ सुशीमा ऑन माई स्टीम डेक रनिंग ऑन स्टीम वर्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन माई टेस्टिंग वेरी हैप्पी टू रिपोर्ट दैट द इन गेम एफ पी एस मोस्टली स्टेट अबाउट थर्टी ऑन स्टीम डेक इवन ड्यूरिंग वेरी डिमांडिंग सीनारियोज एंड आई डेंट इवन हैव टू यूज द वेरी लो प्री सेट हाई वो आई डेट ऑब्जर्व सम एफ पी एस ड्रॉप स्टोरिंग कट सीज एफ पी एस ड्रॉपिंग डाउन टू एस टू एस ट्वेंटी फाइव बट दे वर स्टिल वॉचेबल कट सीज इन दिस गेम आर हंड्रेड एट अ वेरी हाई क्वालिटी इट सीम्स द इन गेम सेटिंग्स डोंट अप्लाई टू दैम Here you can see its Steam Deck compatibility is marked as unsupported. The reason for this is that you cannot play the game's multiplayer mode on Steam OS. This mode is called Legends mode. You won't be able to sign into your PlayStation Network account. PlayStation Overlay does not work on Steam OS, so you won't be able to access PlayStation Trophies feature on Steam Deck. This game supports DualSense controller officially. GamePad's adaptive triggers feature works even when the gamepad is connected to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Even its trackpad works. Certain game controls are mapped to it. Using Proton Experimental as the compatibility tray, selected by Valve Testing. On the game, I have installed it on Dex internal SSD. Game size is around 52 GB. This game supports FSR3 upscaler and even its frame generation component. But for some reason, I was not able to access frame generation on Steam OS. We are in Performance tab. Overlay level set to three, frame limit set to sixty. That's it. You can see the PlayStation controller prompts here. Display settings: eight hundred p resolution. In-game vSync disabled. FSR three upscaler enabled. Game also supports XSS version one point three upscaler. You can use it as well. I'll just run the game using FSR three upscaler with balance preset. Dynamic resolution scaling disabled. Advanced setting first. I'll run the game using the low preset. Motion blur stand set to nil. Back. Can't sign into my PlayStation account. Unable to contact the PlayStation servers. This is the reason why the game is marked as unsupported on Steam Deck. We can't even see the option for multiplayer mode, Legends mode. In this game, we play as a samurai named Jin Sakai. There's a character. He's on a quest to save Tsushima Island during the first Mongol invasion of Japan. We must hunt down the Mongol leader. Everyone, with me. Here, FPS is around 50. Combat time. The FPS drop down to around 42. Not bad. To be careful. With the low preset, FPS stays within a range of 35 to 44. We can try locking the FPS to 40. Almost hitting the cheapy bottleneck. Now it's just to the medium preset. Medium. Yeah, FPS dropped down to around 37 now. Still, the performance is decent, not bad. 35 FPS. Medium shadow quality is very demanding. Its impact will vary from. Area to area depends on the shadows rendered. With this preset, during the cutscenes, FPS will drop down to around 25. One thing that you can do is set shadows to low. Don't need to change the other settings. Clear the area. Thirty-four to thirty-seven FPS. And just go to graphics and set shadow quality to low. You can set texture filtering to sixteen times. Won't affect the performance. Yeah, you can see FPS increase up to forty. Shadows are still rendered. 
only its quality has been lowered lot of action going on in the background cut scene Now I'm at the Golden Temple. This area is more demanding. You can see a lot of non-playable characters here. FPS is around 31 to 35. Not bad. Still, the game is playable. You can cap the FPS at 30 for a more stable experience. Game is definitely playable on Steam Deck. Image quality is looking decent. If you're not satisfied with FSR 3 of Scalar, you can try using XCSF. I'll just switch to it. Don't have access to frame generation. XCSF using its balance preset. Apply. Back to the game. Roughly the same performance. 32 to 35 FPS. I'll just cap the FPS to 30. There you go. Performance should be more stable now. Camera movement seems to be a bit sluggish. Yeah, not many people enjoy playing the game at 30 FPS. Okay, so just leave this place, swipe up on the trackpad. This will show us our objective right here. A gust of wind will blow in the direction of our objective. It basically guides us to our destination. We need to go this way. with the TFPS is possible on Steam Deck. Big open world. I'll just change the mission. Another mission is nearby. Tale of Lady Masako. Just the exposure. It's too bright. Jumped across. Estate should be this way. Capping the FPS to 30 help in dropping the temperatures. I'm almost there. And that's the estate made it. There it is. Go on foot from here. You can even switch to the quality preset of upscaler now after capping FPS to 30. Quality apply. Now character. Lady Masako, warriors of Clan Arachi. Is anyone here? We'll be fighting against some bandits. There they are. 
Yeah, capping the FPS to 30 increases the input delay. Struggling with my parry timing. Healing myself. At the last moment. Oh my god. I died. <laughs> That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.